Well, good day, viewers. Welcome back to Noel's Garden Tractors and Firewood. And today, in this short little video, I'm going to show you what I'm doing today in the garage because it's cool out today and and cloudy and a little bit of moisture coming down but so it's a good indoor day anyhow i'll show you what i'm doing here today and that's kind of hard to believe that i'm doing it but anyway i had a little spot i've been i've been there's so much stuff here look at all this stuff I'll do a quick roundabout here. That's the trouble with being a hoarder or a, a collector of everything. <laughs> you don't get rid of nothing. Oh my, my, my. And my wood pile is getting down. It's only first week in November. That's not good. So anyway, I found a little spot here that I wasn't using. In where I sit there on that chair, in behind, there, there was nothing going on in there. So I thought, well, I've been piling all my kindling right here in front of the furnace, which I still will continue to do somewhat. But I thought maybe I could put some of it in there. So that blue container has some kindling in it. I don't know if that box is going to stay there or not. I, I haven't figured that one out yet. It's got papers in it. But. And this box with the kindling is still going to go back in there. And then this box is going to be out in front of that, I guess. Anyway, just a quick little quick little cleanup there in that area and I got a lot of spots to do oh you can't well I'll never get them all done but anyway so that's what I'm up to today I'm kind of amazed that I'm doing that I do hope to kind of kind of go through this area because I want to get at them engines at some point winter fun I guess if you want to call it that so there we go and I'll probably go through this area here a little bit too and look at all the stuff Old, old copper things I made years ago. Holy cats, 25 years ago I made those. And there's a nice engine there, but I have nothing to put it in to. That's uh, the reason why I got that one was it had a starter generator on it, and I kind of thought that was neat, so. Anyway. It ran good. I have I haven't had it going in a bunch of years, but I have this here so that I can come over and put the ratchet on it and turn it over every now and again. Anyway, that was on a national reel mower. If anybody knows what those are, they were. A slick machine, I guess, and I'm still waiting. Well, I may, he may have it by now, but I'm, I'm going to get a 20-inch bar for this chainsaw. So that's another thing on the go. And the tractors are happily sitting where they want to sit. And they'll start piling stuff on that one, I guess. Anyway, back to what I was doing here. I guess the uh, just a little bit of a cleanup. I 
Holy cats. And my poor son will I die. And he has to come and clean this up. Boys, oh boys. But I had to do it in my father's garage. It took me quite a long time before I could even walk in the garage after he passed away. And if you can see how my garage is, I, that's kind of where I get it from, was from my dad. <laughs> anyway, that's the way it goes. So I'm starting to ramble, and you know I ramble a lot, so there we'll, we'll try and get a little better picture of the outside here, and we'll call her good for now. We'll, uh, we'll chat at you again sometime. Have a good day.